In this tutorial, you will learn how to make these combo chart in Microsoft Excel. These combo charts are combinations of two chart. You can see in this figure that this graph contain both column chart as well as line chart to display data. You can see here data I have the sales in two consecutive years, which is which are 2019 and 2020. And here uh, third column shows the month of sale. So let's learn how to create uh, this chart in Microsoft Excel. I have already uh, copy paste this data in new worksheet. So first select this data. Go to insert tab. And here you will find option of combo chart. There are three type of combo charts. This one use same axis. This will use two axis and this one will uh, display the stocked area as well. So I will select this one cluster column. So resize this graph. You can see here different designs are available. You can use any design if you want or you can change color from this and quick layouts are also available by default first i change this title Then I press enter and go to home, change their color, black, bold and change its size to 20. Next go to this sign and uh, uncheck grid lines. And here I want axis title. Change is axis title, axis label. Similarly, x axis display month. Now I will format these axis. Select these axis first, change their font size and font color. Next, uh, right click on this. Right click and go to format axis. Here you will uh, see the minimum option as well as maximum option. I change minimum option to 2000. Maximum option is fine. And here major units are 2000, minor unit I will change this one to 5000. You can see here that minimum value change to 2000 and maximum value is 16000 and their gap will be changed and this will be shown in tick marks when I will uh, show this option. Go to tick marks and here outside tick marks location minor tick mark location outside. You can see the tick marks appeared outside on this. Go to fill option and here change the line color solid line black and 1.5 width if you go to this option axis option you will uh, uh, see the, these tick marks options and 
and here the different options are available you can explore this option as well next i will format the other axis change their font size and color line color solid line and 1.5 width now select this column graph you can see here in series option you will find option plot series on either primary axis or secondary axis if you want to display this one on secondary axis select this one you can see here another axis is displayed here you can uh, use the same axis for both these because the data of both these are uh, same there is no larger difference between these data if uh, here is 10,000 and uh, second one is 100 you can use this secondary axis so for time being i will select this primary axis options and to increase the gap width i will change it to 100 percent you can see here their width is changed now now select these and change their color solid fill and their solid line around these columns 1.5 width now i will change uh, this line color as well solid line decrease it width to 2 pt and another you can uh, found the marker option you can also edit the markers their color their shape and all these which you want so finally we have completed the formatting of this graph thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye